you guys only knew that I always move a lot of things because obviously I don't want my background to be messy. This top is so cute, by the way. I'm like obsessed with it. I'm like, today I just feel like, you know, a little bit of Latina mommy vibe. So I went ahead and just did this top here. It's so cute from Shein. I'll have it linked below for you guys. But anyways, welcome back to another video. I am just back to back with YouTube. I am back and I am staying we're good yeah welcome back to another video in today's video of course as you guys can see by the title it is my current beauty favorite i am so excited to film this video because i just love watching beauty favorites on youtube i used to love it even more than watching a like a makeup tutorial which is so funny but i would mainly watch them when i would get ready and i thought that was so therapeutic and i just loved 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 doing that i really just want to give you guys an inside scoop of just like my beauty favorites things that i've been obsessed with and just like vibing to this summer of course so definitely like check out the description box if you guys want any of these things i'm gonna first start off with something that i just been obsessed like super obsessed with and that is some body oils if you're not putting on body oils when you go out what are you doing like go and purchase you a good body oil but i got you guys here because these two right here have been my absolute favorite first talk about the kapari sun shield body glow spf 50 definitely try this one out i also like how you don't really smell the SPF, of course. That's very important to me because I hate the smell. Just glisten. The sun is literally like doing you a favor, to be honest, when you use this. It's so good. And I want you guys all to get yourself a good SPF. And this is it right here. Out of all the SPFs there is out there, this one's so amazing. It's UV and UVB. It's a 40 minute sweat. So even if you're sweating, it'll still be on for 40 minutes, obviously. But you guys know that you are supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. So if you're sweating, definitely like apply it right after 40 minutes. It's water resistant and it's PVA free. There's there's hibiscus, cocoon, nut oils. It's lightweight. It's very sheer on the body, but it, it just makes you glow. It makes you glisten. It's like for real, for real, the best one that I've tried. And I don't like, I'm telling you, I do not like body sunscreens at all. And I actually have another bottle right there. I'm very stocked think god apply this and you guys will see what i mean so obviously this is not spf but it is a sunshine oil and yeah it has coconut arrogant avocado vermont and lavender that's why i love so much because of the lavender i just love lavender scents and i didn't apply this to right now because i wanted to apply it like on the screen for you guys so i'm just gonna apply it and you'll see the different i apply it with my hands much better than applying it with like fresh or anything and it smells so freaking amazing you guys i love 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 the scent of this body oil from nude body or nude sticks but look at that i'm telling you it's so good you guys need to have it i have a link for it but so happy i got it nude sticks like got you if you want to glisten look at my hand right now and it's not sticky. You guys want just a regular body oil. I definitely recommend this one from Nude Sticks. It's chef's kiss. There's another one too that I've been loving recently. Um, this is from Patrick Ta. For, it's actually for the face, but I've been using it for my body. But it's pretty much like a jelly. So pretty. It makes everything look dewy and your makeup doesn't lift it's so pretty and i yeah this is this has recently like gone to my favorites because it's so pretty on the face and it just makes you look at that look at that glow right there so the next products that i'm going to mention are a body kind of paints this like literally transforms your body and i don't really know if these are available but i hope they are they're the huda beauty and ymph body highlighters they're illuminating highlighters yeah i use this shade here which is aphrodite but i literally use so little be thought about not showing it here on live with you guys but i feel like if i just tell you guys about them maybe they'll bring them back maybe i'll just spread awareness to bring them back whenever i go out i put this on and i just feel like that bitch look at that i feel like that girl and i love this brush from patrick ta also like so old but it's bomb it's for the body obviously but it's my favorite brush that i use to apply so my body paint foundation i know these are beauty favorites i shouldn't be mentioning this but i'm gonna do it anyways because 
I don't care. <laughs> so the next thing that I want to get out the way are these sunglasses. Like, let me clean them. Aren't these so cute? I got these at H and M, and I love them more because of the rhinestones on the side like this is a vibe right here i just love these and i use them every time i like go out to clubs or even if i go out just like on a regular day like who cares I'm, it's a vibe it's a fucking vibe you guys i'm just feeling myself at this point with these glasses but they're from h&m and hopefully they have them still if i happen to see something similar i'll link it down below for you guys but i'm so happy i got them the next thing that i wanted to mention is body tape if you don't have body tape what are you doing but don't make the mistake that i did i one time just went right here and you guys i have like a scar right now on both sides don't make that mistake you guys do not make that mistake because it hurts so bad use coconut oil or just regular cooking oil to take it off because it really hurts if you do that love how it's a big rolling it was bigger than this but since i use it all the time i yeah i run out like crazy and it's double-sided okay so next thing i want to mention is deodorant especially because i wax and i feel like waxing just made my armpits just sweaty very sweaty you know i don't know it's very weird and yeah i was like what the fuck why is this happening i did hear that waxing can make you have like excessive sweat but i did come across this degree clinical protection deodorant and when i tell you you don't sweat you don't sweat like i'm just so obsessed with this deodorant my sister actually got me into it and it's like so good it's the best the one that i used to use was from native that one is just like so crazy sweat like it smells bomb and all but i just couldn't like i want to mention makeup removers this one right here has been my go-to it's from one sides it's the go off makeup dissolving mist so you pretty much spray it all over your face and then just automatically comes off i'm gonna give you guys good advice and take it do not put this right next to your setting sprays because you're gonna think that it's a setting spray i did the mistake that i was gonna actually put on the one size this one here i was gonna put on the until dawn setting spray but i got mistaken and i grabbed this one i sprayed it all over my face and literally my makeup got ruined and I was going out that day. My makeup got ruined. Yeah, do not make the mistake. Keep this like in your skincare or right next to your skincare, but do not have it next to your setting sprays because you will get confused, especially if it's next to this one. Like, let me know if you guys have had that problem. So next up, I want to talk about the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Love it. I love removing it with my waterproof mascara. I do use waterproof mascara for the gym. It just like dissolves so easily. This one just gets the job done. It's perfect. I love it and I 100% I recommend it. I'm almost done so I have to get a new one. This is like super random you guys. It's just like all over the place. I'm showing you skincare. I'm showing you all these things but bear with me please. So since it's summer you know you want to use your daily SPF and I've been obsessed. And I'm, all, I'm done with this SPF. This is from Image Skincare. I never thought I would love image skincare um ever this is actually one of my first kind of products that i've used from them and i'm telling you i have the daily matte uh, moisturizer it's spf 30 it's literally skincare my skin looks so like beautiful when i put this on and i absolutely love it it's so funny because my one of my friends told me that she also loves this SPF and then she ordered it on Amazon because I guess like image skincare, you don't like sell it everywhere. You have to get it like from your dermatologist, which I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to hit him up to restock me on this because I don't know where I would get it, you know, but she got it off Amazon and she got a knockoff. So yeah, like don't get it from Amazon or anything like that, but get it from a dermatologist or just do your research because I don't know where to get this. Next up, we have obviously skincare. This is kind of crazy how obsessed i am with this moisturizer but i'm done with one here so i started a new one this is the Sowaso. i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's the concentrated ginseng moisturizer a renewing cream it smells so yummy i like it korean skincare brand that i'm just like absolutely obsessed i literally feel like my skin has gotten so much better and when i apply this my face feels like a baby's 
but I'm not even joking. I use this every single night. I have my own like date skincare routine, but this one is definitely in my night. So I just lather myself in it, even like drag it down my neck because obviously that's very important. I want to talk about scents. And oh, I'm so excited because I feel like I oh I've never really mentioned scents scents here on my channel. I go out, I do get complimented a lot. Like what are you wearing that I use well so good and I do mix my perfumes all the time something that I've been mixing my perfumes with a lot is the um, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Chai Rosa hair and body fragrance mist so spray it all over before I apply my, my actual like perfume I spray it all over even my hair back of my neck everywhere and then I go in with I know this is gonna be like not everybody's favorite scents but I have been loving it it is the Killian Angels Share perfume <sighs> telling you guys this perfume is just amazing i'm not joking and what i love about this perfume is that when i spray it it stays on me no perfume has done that and i always spray it like on my hair and for some reason the scent changes for me a lot i could be smelling a little bit of smokiness and then later on smell a little bit of floral or like oh so weird i do gotta say it's a very like smoky scent if that if i'm trying to describe the scent it's very like smoky but then sweet at the same time so obsessed with killian perfumes i have another one here this is the love by killian don't be shy it's everything and the packaging is just so beautiful i'm obsessed with killian right now i know that this is rihanna's favorite perfume brand i know why it's so fucking amazing i just love the scent they're very expensive but if you want to invest in a good like perfume i really recommend the killian perfumes they're just like 10 out of 10 20 out of 20 like they're so bomb all right so next up let's just move on to makeup i want to mention my favorite lashes right now that i actually have on these are the ardell faux mink 811 lashes i get complimented all the time with these lashes because they're so like natural looking but yet like they're not so short they complement my eye shape perfectly and honestly like i might wear these in my wedding day because they're that that good but sometimes you have to see each one like because with drugstore lashes sometimes some of them can look like well made and then some of them can look very like trashy and like not good but i always recommend doing that and yeah like make sure that all the eyelashes look the same and you know well made i think i got these for 15 dollars, but they're at ulta i think they're like 18 dollars, something like that but they're so worth it because you get four pairs if i want something like more dramatic and long and wispy i always go towards the salon perfect light and fluffy you guys already know these are these 695 lashes they're so gorgeous and fluffy and long it's just perfect so the next ones that i want to talk about is ioni 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 lashes make really really amazing quality lashes and honestly i've gotten mistaken like oh those look so luxurious like what, what like eyelashes are you wearing and they are these two i love these because they're a very very inexpensive and you can find them at like a 99 cent store which i have and um yeah they're just easily accessible so i like that about them if you haven't tried ioni lashes especially their individuals like they're so so good you guys need to try them out for yourself and see what i mean next i want to talk about this palette here from Lorner beauty it is the outer dimension palette it's like the size of my freaking face but i love it because like it has like bronzers but it also has a lot of different shades of highlights i always mix this one and this one together and i just get like the most prettiest little like calm yeah like the per prettiest little combo and i love it actually i don't even think it's that expensive for a palette of a lot of shades it's not and yeah I, i've been using it so so much so talking about powders i want to also mention the one size powder that i never put down honestly i always include it in my, my face routine even if i'm doing like natural or like glam glam got two shades i got light 4g and medium 4g i use uh, medium 4g for to set and then light to kind of just 
highlight my under eye and i've been loving loving the turn up the base powders they're so good so another goodie i want to mention to you guys of course it's the urban decay moon dust space cowboy eyeshadow it's so good i'm 100 percent sure you guys have heard about this individual eyeshadow but it's so so pretty it's honestly like my favorite little eyeshadow that if i want like a little bit of in, on my eyelid i go towards this um, whenever I go out, I don't want to do like crazy eyeshadow. I just apply a matte eyeshadow and then I put this on. It just looks so pretty and honestly, all you need is this, to be honest, when you're doing eyeshadow and you'll be good to go. If you thought about getting it, get, get it right now. Okay, so next up, Mario Soft Pop Plumping Veil Blushes. This is in the shade, specifically this one. This is in the shade Rose Crush. It's literally perfection. I've never like loved a cream blush so much like I do this one. I think he did such a great job on the formula, but this right here is my baby. Like I love using this on a daily. Whenever I'm just out of it, I will purchase it again because it's so good. It's that good and he did such a, an amazing job with that shade right there. I know he put extra love in that shade. I just know it. <laughs> so next up, I want to talk about my favorite waterproof mascara. I know a lot of you don't probably don't like waterproof mascaras but i do um i use them my, mainly when i go to the gym this is the telescopic lift waterproof the controversial yeah i love the waterproof version i got a new one just love it so much because it actually doesn't make damage my eyelashes to be honest because i've been using it for months now and i have not seen like my eyelashes get damaged or anything for concealer I, i've been loving these two together this is the derma blend cover care concealer and i get in the i get the shade 30n and then the born this way multi-use concealer this is in the shade golden these are the perfect just combination and they just make me look snatched i could just wear it alone as like a foundation and it's just perfection i don't think i'll ever use anything else the shade here it's so good and then obviously to highlight i use this one right here derma blend like perfect shade it was just like meant to be mine <laughs> love these two shades and i'm just gonna continue using them so next up i want to talk about my favorite primer and i'm gonna buy another one because it's so good it's the mac studio radiance moisturizing illuminating silky primer it's this one here and i love this one because it's a primer but it's also a moisturizer so it's like two in one which is perfect because right now i have very very dry skin because of the weather i need two in one two in one in here right here so i also want to mention my favorite brush cleaner fine brush cleaner so you spray this on a paper towel and you just spot clean your brushes i've been doing that lately because uh lately i've been lazy and i shouldn't be but if you want a good spot brush um, cleaner definitely get this one it's so good and it smells like lavender 10 out of 10 i really recommend it it gets every little disgusting egg out gunk out just like sit back and like really express myself right now because this has just replaced a lot of my setting sprays and i'm a big setting spray girl i take my setting sprays serious this right here is the Too Faced makeup insurance 18 hour wear go get this like that's it where you get it always shake it because shake it very well if you don't shake it very well like little white spots will come out and you don't want that it literally makes your makeup stay all night long all night long all day long so the next thing i want to talk about is this little palette here from jaclyn hill cosmetics it's so good i never thought that i was going to be obsessed with a jaclyn hill product but look i even hit pat on this one but i use these three right here right for now I think this is light to medium if i'm not mistaken but it's so good it ends underneath my eye like nothing else you guys um another blush that i've been obsessed with p louis yeah the cheek of it blushers oh my god in this shade is sun kiss miss i love it i know that i need to try more shades if you thought about getting it like definitely get 
this one especially that shade but talking about blushes i've been obsessed with the lunar beauty lab with laura lee it's the full fantasy blush palette i've been obsessed like i have it on right now actually and i have the highlight too i've been obsessed with this color and these shades here and these highlighters mixed together so freaking bomb so this right here um it's the she glam plumping lip plumping oils but this is in the shade pink flamingo you guys it gives you the perfect tint and just makes your lips look juicy kissable it gives you like that pump too because they're so glossy and they're so comfortable to wear i'm obsessed with this shade here the pink flamingo and i never thought i would even be obsessed with a shade like this because it's literally pink i'm a new girl this is new to me oh and the lip liner that i'm wearing is the makeup by mario travis that one's like my all-time favorite it's like done already Mira que chiquito está. it's literally like baby oh, size no. i want to mention tool i've been obsessed with the urban decay um, pencil sharpener this one right here ha it has one for fat and skinny is the best one i've tried a whole bunch I tried Laura Mercier, I tried Makeup by Mario, but this one is just amazing. I'm gonna talk about eyelash curlers. I've been always been in a hunt for a good eyelash curler, but this one here is just like nothing else. It's the Lash Star Lash Curler. I've had this for about two years. I mean, it still works like brand new. I'm not gonna say it still works like brand new, but I feel like it can last me another year. It's my favorite eyelash curler, and if you guys are looking for a good eyelash curler, definitely get the Lash Star Eyelash Curler. It's so good. I think it's a little pricier than your normal eyelash curler, but if you want to invest in a good one, definitely invest in that one. For brushes right here, these have been like my favorites recently. The Cosmetic BK Beauty Brush and the Makeup by Mario Foundation Brush. I use this one for liquid blush or cream bronzer. This one has been just used and abused already. And then BK brushes are so nice beautiful quality like yeah what i like about bk brushes is that they're super affordable but they are so um like they're amazing quality i have i think all their sets they sent over but i wouldn't talk about them if i didn't love them honestly and i do i always use this brush cream contour and my foundation except as i use this for concealer but i mainly use it for you know um cream and foundation so yeah like these face brushes have just i grab them a lot yeah I think that is it you guys if I'm missing anything like more of skincare I promise I'll do more but this these are the things that just stand out to me like right away when I think about beauty favorites um but yeah you guys uh that is it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if any of these products are in your beauty favorites and if they are I would love to talk about them on the comments below and if you guys have any recommendations you guys want to let me know please write them down on the comments I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like any products here like happy shopping go ahead spoil yourself because you deserve it you honestly do you work hard you do deserve to spoil yourself yeah i'll have everything linked below for you and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on my next video bye